everybody, my name is Norma. And today I'm gonna to take you to downtown Las Vegas. Wait, Fremont Street? Well, Vegas? Well, whatever you choose to call it, most anybody you talk to is gonna tell you to wait to come here till nighttime. But there's so much to do at any hour of the day. So today I'm here to show you Fremont Street, day versus night. Let's go. One of my favorite things to do in downtown Las Vegas is to go to brunch. Right now we're inside a container park at Downtown Terrace. Uh, they actually have some really reasonably priced brunch options. And my favorite part, they do all you can drink mimosas all day just for $16 for your hour and a half limit. And they have a lot of different flavors that you should try. So cheers guys. What in the actual heck, guys? Have you looked at these plates? These are beautiful. So the first, we're gonna have our steak Benedict. This is going to be, of course, your steak, hash browns, poached egg, and a Bernays sauce. And then we're gonna have right here our chicken and waffle sliders. Of course, it's your fried chicken, strawberry, apple, spicy caramel sauce, and then whipped cream. It's kind of interesting. It's like a sweet and savory chicken waffles. So I can't wait to try both of these. bite and this is already like a really messy plate but that's what makes it really good this Bernays sauce is amazing too this is really good guys yeah. I've only had one bite but I feel like this needs a little bit of Cholula this actually made it really good so try some Cholula and your steak Benedict all right so I guess it's a slider right so I guess I should just bite it <laughs> when you order this chicken and waffle slider make sure you ask for a lot of napkins it's a little bit messy but it's so good guys, so good. It's kind of crazy though, this is this almost tastes like a dessert, but with chicken inside. I don't know, you have to try this. Okay, yeah, for sure make sure you ask for any more napkins. When you think of Las Vegas, you don't necessarily think about art, but here in downtown Las Vegas, it's pretty much on every corner, closer more towards Fremont East. And I get it, with all the hustle and bustle, it's not something you notice right away, but just like the very wise Ferris Bueller said, if you don't look around every once in a while, you might just miss it. These murals started in 2013 due to our music festival, Life is Beautiful, that they hold every year here in downtown. Last I heard, there's about 55 murals all over the downtown area, and more get created every day. Uh, but here's just a few clips of some of my favorite. Las Vegas is actually kind of a newer city since it was only founded since 1905 but so much stuff has happened since then. Crazy stuff. Best place to learn about that crazy stuff is going to be right here at the Mob Museum. And just a little fun fact, that actually used to be a courthouse and a post office.
from Blast from the Past, so I just had to crunch my thirst here at the Underground, which is their speakeasy. Fun fact though, you don't even have to pay admission to the Mom Museum to come down here, so at least come check out the Underground. What if I tell you that you have to try the oxtail soup when you come to downtown Las Vegas, right? I made a weird face too, but it's so true you guys. We're here at the California Hotel at the Market Street Cafe trying the world famous oxtail soup and there's people that come from all over just to try this soup. This is like a picture perfect bowl right here. I hate to ruin it, but I'm gonna. Mm. I approve of the broth for sure. I could definitely taste the ox, not so much the tail. Am I even doing this right? So if you can sell Las Vegas for some adult libations, downtown Las Vegas is a perfect spot for you. Now you can't stay over on the main side of Fremont Street, however though all you're going to get is going to be casino bars and then those waco bars. I recommend coming over to Fremont East. Right now we're at a park on Fremont, they have some really pretty drinks, they're cheaper, has a great ambience, we're sitting out in the patio. In general, Fremont East is a great place to do some uh, bar hopping, so just give Fremont East a try. I recommend it. So last but not least, the main reason that everybody comes to downtown Las Vegas is going to be to see the light show. So this canopy right here is actually called Viva Vision. If you say the light show, everybody knows what you're talking about. But basically they just had a renovation in 2019. That way it could be on 24-7. They have great artists like The Killers, Imagine Dragons, Steve Aoki, and they have shows between 6 p.m. to typically about 1 a.m. once an hour. They're great shows. You have to watch them. If you're going to come to Las Vegas, at least do that. And here's just a few clips of some of my favorite shots. for watching guys please comment like subscribe down below let me know what's your favorite thing to do in downtown las vegas let me know if there's something that you want me to showcase more about vegas but please keep watching because there's so much more that i want to show you about las vegas so i'll see you guys later here right now we're over shit, i scratched myself in the middle of it <laughs> <laughs> <You're> like... <laughs> 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 First things I love doing, ugh, but just like the very wise, famous. Ugh. Okay. Now you can't stay over in the adult. <laughs> <laughs>